Hi, my name's Sue. I've just downloaded this um, screen video thing and so I'm a bit new to it. So let's see how this goes. I want to talk about um, the software that's on Dutch Sense's uh, videos of this globe and what it all means and where it's from and its background. So a lot of people are asking um, what this is and where the information has come from. So these rings here are actually uh, a live feed from the American USGS a Seismic Agency and also EMSC, uh, which is the European Seismic Agency. Um, and I think they're the two largest agencies that cover glo uh, the globe, um, global earthquakes. And there's many other agencies as well that are focused in their own areas. Um, and this software can actually uh, pick up those feeds of quite a few others um, which you need to put in. Um, now so that's where these uh, reports are from and they're live and you can program it to up to you know two days and seven days. Um, so if I just put it for a day now because this computer is a bit slow. Um, this uh, the red, the darker the red rings indicate the older the earthquakes and the brighter they come towards white is the latest ones. Um, you can see there's a green um, tag up here with a number um, which you can't quite see very well but um, this one is green for being the latest earthquake and the numbers are the magnitude um, strength of earthquake. and there is also a turquoise colour that you might see on his videos, Dutch's videos, uh, which is where the user of this software has been clicking on it uh, to get information, as you can see down below here. Um, if I zoom out, you get these very long, that come off the globe kind of earthquakes. Um, these are the deep earthquakes that are very deep into the crust. So if I just click on the information for this one, uh, you can see it's 404 kilometers deep and a magnitude 4.2. Um, so yeah, so the deep, the deeper they are, they, they kind of fly off the globe really. Um, so that's that, and the program has been made by an independent programmer, I think, called Richard Walton, um, and he's just very cleverly put this together uh, to be able to read these feeds and put it on a visual globe that you can customise. Um, I don't know much about the history of how it came about, if he knows Dutch or anything, um, but it's just a very amazing kind of independent tool that you can very cheaply download or even get a free copy of a basic version of this. Um, and if you didn't want to download it, you can get a online version which just is on a web browser. So if I just show you, if you Google um, search EQ3D, um, it will come up with this in the search and this is the one that's the one that's based on a web browser and can be viewed online and it's live. But it only has, I think, the USGS feed on it. So it's quite basic and also the um, controls are quite basic as well. So there's there's not much information on here but it's something to start off with and I, I started using this at first. Um, I've been a follower of Dutch for a, over a year now so I started using this and I don't um, have a Windows machine before. So I didn't have so I was stuck with this. Um, and then. Then I got a Windows machine and you can download a free version to have a go at a bit more uh, advanced version. That's my birdie. Um, so this is www.walton.net, so this is Richard's um, website and his program. He must be a program software developer. So this is the free version that you can get and against Windows only. Um, and then if and it will have sort of more controls. But not as many as the, the full version. The full version is twenty dollars, so it's not huge. But it depends how geeky you are at earthquakes, like me. And oh, I just got to go back to this uh, because I forgot to mention about the stuff at the bottom. Because this always, I always forgot forgotten what these were. So the little blue dot indicates the visual size 
uh, of the moon, uh, whether it's full moon or half, etc. So it's 32% vis visibility um, and it's decreasing, so it's going to get smaller. And then this is D for distance away um, from the Earth. So it will be getting further away, so arrow up means it's going to be getting further away, I should think. Um, I might be wrong. And then you've got, of course, the date and the time in UTC. Um, now this map, which I've helped put together for Dutch in, uh, for the arrows only, the backdrop is open source public domain. Um, the arrows, I will be doing a EQ3D uh, download um, available soon. Uh, this is a prototype at the moment, so it's it needs updating. This is actually the old one. You can see there's no yellow arrow, um, and this will be available for free download very soon. I just need to update it and test it and everything. Um, so this compute this laptop is a is pretty good spec, but it's um, I don't know. I don't know what's good these days. Uh, this is running on Windows Seven, so it's a little bit sluggish but you get an idea this is actually uh about three thousand pixels wide image here so so it's just a an idea of you know what sort of computing you need i have tried this on little netbooks and things and it's it's just about okay so uh yeah hopefully that's useful for you to know um enjoy <laughs> I shall speak to you soon.